Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Polish Alchemy and I'll be doing some foil stamping. Today I've started off with Nelteex Formula 2 as my base coat and here is Alchemy. Sorry my camera just won't focus on these labels anymore. I don't know what happened. And it's a beautiful light purple polish with a blue teal shimmer. It is gorgeous. And as soon as my camera stops wigging out you'll get to see how pretty this one is. I'm going in with my first coat and as usual, this polish from Polish is just got an excellent formula. It goes on so smooth. I'm going to cap my free edge. <clears throat> there we go. It's gorgeous. I'm going to go in with my second coat. And that's going to bring it to full opacity for me. It's just so pretty. This is just one of those glowing kind of polishes. It just... It's just, and for it being such a pale polish, it really just is beautiful. I love this. And the shimmer does translate. I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Get it to dry down. Because we're going to do some foil stamping today. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and fess up. It wasn't, it didn't turn out like I thought it was going to. I'm still not very good at playing with this foil stamping polish from Morra, um, but we're going to get there. I've got my little piece of foil cut out, and I've got my 91% alcohol, and I'm going to chase it all around my work area here, trying to wipe off the back. I find that cleaning off the backs, of, especially some of the older foils that have like a film on it, it really does help them stick better. So there we go. And here's the Mora, and it's just the foil polish for stamping. And this is the silver. I've got my monocle stamper, my beauty scraper, and this BP74 plate from Born Pretty. And I'm going to be using the little dragonflies today. My original plan was just to use the blue, but as I was doing this first round with my nails, I just, just I wasn't real happy with it. Um, I think I need to use images that have more area to them for this foil stamping to look better. Just, ugh, I wasn't happy with it. So I'm going to show you one more. And then I just keep going because, you know, I've already vested so much into it that I didn't want to, like, just pull it off. So you're going to see what I do to um, make it wearable for me. <laughs> um, I know that you've all had bouts with manicures like this. So now I'm moving on to the foil black polish and a piece of like fuchsia purpley pink foil and I cleaned the back off of it too. So I'm stamping in the black and then I'm going over with that purpley pink foil. So these don't end up looking like dragonfly, dragonflies per se but they do end up you know being much more wearable in my opinion. I did end up wearing this one for two or three days. I ended up liking it enough to be able to wear it. It From a distance it looks more abstract and blingy which is totally cool. So there we go. I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and do some cleaning. And this cleans up really really well. I've never had an issue trying to clean up foils where I was just pulling my hair out. They clean up pretty well. Going around that edge real nice and up under the nail. Very good, very good. So there we go. You can see dragonflies. It's just not like in your face dragonflies. I'll be using the Revolution Top Coat from Pitcher Polish. It's made for going over foils. You could use any kind of water base, uh, base coat, top coat, whatever you got that won't let those foils crinkle. Hi, Woody. <laughs> And now I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal this in. And I will have a swatch photo coming up. And maybe you can see it a little better. <laughs> Capping that free edge. And breaking Woody out again. There we go. Got to do some cleaning. There we go. It's a very pretty manicure. I really did enjoy it. 
So there's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.